Hey everybody, Max here for the How To Film Crew with another tutorial. Today we will be talking about green screen compositing in After Effects, where we will be creating this film noir inspired scene. But first, if you enjoy our content and want to see more, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click that bell icon so you'll be notified when new content is uploaded. Help us reach our 1,000 subscribers goal so you can see more adventures of Batgirl, Harley, Black Canary, and Supergirl. Until then, we've got a lot of new stuff on the way like more tutorials, short films, and our new cosplay series, The Multiverse Battles, coming in June. Now with that out of the way, on with the video. Alright, today we will be creating this film noir inspired scene. We shot this footage on a green screen in our studio, so if you have some green screen footage of your own or some stock green screen footage, you can follow along or, you know, just watch and learn. Now, this will be a little more advanced than our last green screen tutorial and delves a little more into the compositing side, so we will be doing this in After Effects and not DaVinci Resolve. Resolve is still my go-to for color grading, editing, sound, and some basic compositing, but this is what After Effects was built for and I've used it for a very long time. Not to mention I'm still learning Fusion. Anyway, let's go ahead and open up After Effects and create a new comp by dragging our footage in. Next, we will trim our clip. Yours may not need it, but mine does. So once you adjust the duration, go to Composition and Trim Comp to Work Area. Then we're gonna go to Effects, Keying, Key Light 1.2. All right, before we make any adjustments, let's mask out our shot and get rid of the background. We'll keyframe the mask path so it animates with her movement. Once that's done, let's go back to key light. We are gonna use the eyedropper tool to select our background color. Switch view to screen matte. Adjust your clip black, adjust clip white. Now you want your black areas to be solid black and your white areas to be as solid white as possible unless there's some transparency you want a little bit of gray like around her hair here. Now switch your replace method to hard color. Now that we have the key done, let's color grade and give it that old Hollywood film noir look. Go to effects, color correction, Lumetri color. Then open the Creative tab, and we're gonna add a look, SL Noir 1965. That will give it the base black and white look we want. Open your Basic tab, and let's adjust our exposure a little bit here. And our contrast, just a touch. Next, to give it that hazy look, adjust Faded Film just a little. That looks pretty good. Next, we will drop in our villain footage. We have some footage here of me being a scary bald guy, uh, something I do quite well. Uh, next, we want to flip the footage uh, so that my gun hand is closer to her. Uh, go to Layer, Transform, Flip Horizontal. Then we will key this and color grade the same as the previous footage. Now, we want to give this a sort of faux depth field look. Uh, since he's further in the background there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Effects, Blur and Sharpen, Camera Lens Blur. Now, we're going to adjust this a little bit here since it's already set to 5, but we're going to put it about 5 to 7 to give it the right look. All right, looking good. All right, next we will drop in our background plate. Uh, for that, we have a stock photo here that we got from Pexels, and we are going to... Honestly, I kind of want to go in the other way, so let's uh, flip this as well. Let's do the same thing. Go to Layer, Transform, and Flip Horizontal. Uh, next, we're going to color correct this as we did before with Lumetri Color. Uh, then we're going to add Camera Lens Blur to give our faux depth of field. And we're going to adjust this to about 8 to 
can since it is further away from the camera. Next, we want this to look a little more moody, so let's add some fog. We have this fog effect from ProductionCrate.com. They did not sponsor us, but we love their site. So we're just going to drop this in, and we are going to adjust this, and we're going to flip it, and we're going to duplicate the layer. Next, we are going to duplicate the entire process for the second shot, keying the footage, color grading, and compositing the fog. Then, for our dramatic ending, as the hero takes out the bad guy, we are going to add a muzzle flash for her gun. We also got this from ProductionCrate.com. Just gonna drag this in, adjust the scale, and color grade it to match the footage, and bam! You have your film noir inspired shot. And there you have it, a quick film noir inspired scene and some training in green screen and compositing in After Effects. Now I am planning to do another tutorial sometime in the near future that will focus on the lighting and cinematography of film noir. If you want to see a more in-depth look at that or other aspects of filmmaking, or if there are other tutorials that you would like to see, let us know in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified when new content is uploaded. You guys have a great one, and we'll see you next time.